ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಶಿವಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆದರ್ಶ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಕೊಳ್ಳೇಗಾಲ ಇವರು ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಮಗೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ನ ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳೆ ಸೊ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಹರ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹಲೋ ಹಲೋ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ okay ma'am thank you ma'am thank you leela ma'am uh, good evening uh, students uh, yes we are into the second session of uh, today's online class uh, i would like to welcome all the students teachers who have been present here and i would oh, i would also like to uh, thank uma ma'am diet lecturer chandraj nagar for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this class okay so as you can see in the uh, video or uh, presentation display we are concentrating on the chapter light one of the most interesting uh, chapter of physics it is light okay so myself supriya so shivkumar from adarsha vidyalaya kolega presenting you this class okay now so here comes what are all the concepts that we will be concentrating in this particular uh, light chapter that is refraction of light refraction through rectangular glass slab refractive index refraction by spherical lenses image formation by lenses sign convention of spherical lenses lens formula and magnification and at last power of a lens so these are all the concepts that we will be dealing in our further classes okay next next comes okay let me go with an introduction about light and then go with what is that we need to learn so we all know that what does light does so what does it do it creates a vision for us that is it makes us sense the object sense in the sense we are able to see the object how can that be done when our light falls on that object when it falls it gets reflected and that reflected light comes to us and thereby we are able to see the object okay so this is what we need to first understand with respect to light and second point that which has to be understood by us is light travels in a straight line which is also termed as a rectilinear propagation of light so when it comes after the decimal you can see the fifth uh, decimal point so there is a change in that uh, number and thereby you can approximately you can take that to be 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second next next comes the properties that the light will exhibit so when it comes to properties does the does the light exhibit so i have listed all the properties that light can exhibit so it can exhibit the phenomenon called reflection refraction diffraction interference polarization dispersion and scattering first comes reflection you have already learnt in 8th standard and we know that in this particular 10th uh, standard syllabus the reflection of light is skipped so we will be concentrating only on refraction of light the rest of the things you'll be learning in your upcoming upward classes that is in your pu level so now we will directly go for refraction of light i know that everybody know what is a refraction of light so let us try to understand with some of the examples that we uh, go through in our day to day life so now as you can see that i have given four different pictures so if you carefully observe all this the first picture on to the left gives us some opinion or some uh, information about that a uh, lemon which is inserted in a tumbler which contains water appears to be bulged similarly moving down so there is a spoon inserted 
in a bit which is partially inserted in fact appears slightly changed in the appearance and also in the next figure you see that there is a person who is seeing a fish so you can see that there is an apparent depth and the real depth there is a change in the depth and also the last example you can see a coin which is in immersed in the what a bottle or a beaker containing water you see that there is a slight raise in the water sorry slight raise in the coin so in all these uh, examples we come across a, a phenomenon called as or the reason for this all example is nothing but refraction of light so we know what is a refraction of light refraction of light is nothing but bending of light so you cannot simply say bending of light is called as refraction of light so what is that we need to concentrate here refraction yavag hagutte antandre refraction can undergo only when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium so that is what i have put here so it is the bending of light when a ray of light propagates or travels from one medium to another medium itself is called as refraction of light so hope you have understood what is a refraction of light which is a very very basic uh, thing that we need to learn in this particular chapter yes so when you go through the diagram here i have given medium 1 and medium 2 so these are the two different medias when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium so you see that there is a change in its direction or you can say that the ray has bent what is the reason for bending of light we all know that it is because of the speed of light the speed of light depends upon the medium in which it is traveling so the cause for the bending of light the cause for the change in the direction of the light is due to the change in the speed of the light when it travels from one medium to another medium okay so now let us go further what is that we need to understand when it comes to bending of light so all that you need to understand is what happens when a ray of light travels from a rarer medium to denser medium and similarly what happens when a ray of light travels from denser medium to rarer medium you know very well what happens when a ray of light travels from a rarer medium to denser medium take for example i have taken air and glass what happens we know the ray of light bends towards normal similarly when a ray of light travels from denser medium to rarer medium we know the ray of light bends away from the normal so these are the two concepts that we need to keep in mind throughout this chapter because ee concept mele thumba prashnegalu barutte so if you are very specific and clear about this topic you can crack any question students and all that i have uh, written on to the right hand side at the end so these are all the velocity of light in air and the velocity of light in glass similarly in the second uh, diagram it is the velocity of light in water and the velocity of light in air okay next next is the next topic that we will be learning in our, our chapter is refraction through glass slab i hope everybody have seen a glass slab okay so now now is what is our question is how does a refraction happens when a ray of light travels through glass slab so you know that in a glass slab we have two interface one at the first surface and other one at the lower one melgade one surface irutte kelagade one surface irutte so if you see the diagram here you can see and i'll also show you one more yes so you what is the two interface that we have we have air glass interface and we have one more interface which is glass air interface so here refraction takes place twice yerade sali refraction agutte yella agutte one at the topmost surface that is air glass interface and similarly we have one more thing which happens at the second surface or the bottom surface which is a glass air interface yen agutte let us try to understand so you know in a very first interface which is a air glass interface you see you can just go through the diagram which i have put on to the left hand side students you can refer that whatever that i'm saying a ray of light is incident that is which is coming from air as soon as it encounters a surface or an interface so it it is nothing but it is giving us an information that yes there is a change in the medium so it is going to the glass medium so avag enagutte we know very well ray that is a ray of light bends towards normal 
So you can see the diagram here onto the left hand side. Similarly, after some time, on the Shutukala glass, travel next what happens is as soon as it encounters the bottom surface, you see the ray of light is now understanding that there is a change in the medium. So I should change my direction. That is nothing but at the glass air interface, it says ray bends away from the normal. So that you can see in the diagram. Next, the ray which is coming outside the glass slab, we usually refer it as emergent ray. What is that we need to keep in mind when it comes to refraction through glass slab? Main thing now in Kaltkolbeku Gotirbeku andre ray of light yavaga hege bend agate in which interface and Gotirbeku. Similarly, along with that, we should also know emergent ray, if you clearly see here, emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray. Yavaga, for example, here. If at all, if there is no glass slab, in Akhtitu, incident ray straight out of the two. So that is nothing that them, but uh, there is a line which has been represented by a dotted line. So if you see that, you see that the emergent ray is appearing parallel to the incident ray. So what does that we need to understand from this? Parallel antandre yen artha maad kolbehu na vandre. And why it is parallel? Why it is parallel antandre? Here I've given you the reason you can go through that. It appears parallel because the extent of, I'm sorry, the extent of bending at first interface, first interface under air glass interface, Mattu, extent of bending in the second interface are equal and opposite. So this is the reason why the ray which is coming out of the second interface or the emergent ray appears parallel to the incident ray. Our extent of bending in agarate equal agarate but opposite direction larate. So therefore, both the rays appear parallel, which means emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray. But there is a slight shift. There is a slight shift when it is compared to incident ray. And our shift in anavena takaritivi, lateral shift on takaritivi, or else it can also be termed as lateral displacement. So this is what you need to go through in this refraction through glass slab okay next next we shall go for one more concept that is nothing but laws of refraction of light we know that we have two laws of refraction what does the first one say it says the incident ray the refracted ray the normal to the interface of two transparent medium at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane so you can refer the diagram which I have put onto the right hand side. So what does it say? You can see incident ray, refracted ray, matto normally It all lies on the same plane. Next comes the second law. So we all know that second law is also called as Snell's law. So what does the Snell's law say? Snell's law says that it is the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction as a constant for the light of a given color for a given pair of media for now we'll not concentrate about for a given color so we will just concentrate about only for a given pair of media and that has been given by an expression that is sin i by sin r is equal to a constant so this itself is termed as snell's law and the constant which we are referring here is nothing but the refractive index which we will be learning in a next slide Okay, next comes refractive index. Refractive index and touch now, what is that we need to understand? Refractive index yen kodutinamik information and tandre. It gives us the information that at what extent the ray of light is bending, at what extent the ray of light is changing its direction and now one do information e refractive index kodutte. It gives in the numerical value because it is a ratio. We are dividing one over the other. Okay, so you will get a number, a numerical value. So that numerical value gives that at what extent you are seeing the changes when it ray of light changes moves from one medium to another medium. So that is what I have given here. The extent of bending or the change in the direction that takes place in a given pair of media is expressed in terms of refractive index the value of refractive index for a given pair of media depends upon the speed of light in a two media okay next next is i can i think you can see a diagram which i have been put up here 
So you can see that the ray of light is moving from one medium to another medium. And you see all the terminologies where what is an incident ray, what is a refracted ray, what is an angle of incidence, what is an angle of refraction. Why am I referring this diagram is when it comes to a refractive index. So we need to concentrate on three different formulas which are very, very important. What are they? The first one refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one. What we usually get into confusion is refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one no, but the refractive index of medium one with respect to medium two but it is not you have to be very specific in understanding this concept and also expressing this concept in terms of a formula what does it say see here refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one can be written as n to one so you need two modlu bandide one anodu amel bandide so adra artha eno it is the refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one adana now expression alli bari bekadre how we will write it it is the speed of light in medium one speed of light in medium two so we usually get confused illi n to one anta bardaga we write speed of light in medium two with respect to speed of light in medium one ee tara bari baadu illa most of them get confused so id one nimage one formula nu pakka madkonbitre ee next eradu formula enagutte a logic artha idre you can easily write so the same thing symbolically bari bekandre v1 v2 v1 is the speed of light in medium 1 v2 is the speed of light in medium 2 next similarly we can say what is the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 it is nothing but n12 which is the speed of light in medium 2 with respect to speed of light in medium 1 so similarly this can be written as v2 by v1 next comes the absolute refractive index when does this absolute refractive index come into picture it comes into picture only when a ray of light is traveling from a rarer medium which means of from air and it is traveling to some some other medium which is denser so therefore this can be written as speed of light in air to the speed of light in the medium so this medium can be anything water or glass it can be anything but the first medium will be always air so what is the expression that we can write for this n is equal to c by b e one the relation na we can simply say refractive index or you can also refer it as absolute refractive index so you have to be very clear with this formula this formula is very very important n is equal to c by v yake antandre nama descriptive type question papers alli next we shall go for what is called as refraction by spherical lenses so spherical lens anta bandaga basic thing nam first athagbekayirudu what is a lens you all know what is a lens so what is a lens it is a transparent material bound by two surface of which one or both surfaces are spherical forms a lens so what is the condition for a given glass piece to be considered as lens to call it as a lens means it is a transparent medium yes of course and it should have two surfaces yes of course yerad surface irle beku adal condition enu antandre one the surface spherical agirle beku the other surface can be plane or it can also be spherical but minimum condition en irbeku antandre it should be one surface should be spherical so antaha ondu glass piece na navu lens anta navu karibohudu okay moving on lens anta band takshane we know that there are two types of lens which is very easy for us to uh, say which is nothing but convex lens and concave lens idrallo kuda enagutte you can see further some more types convex lens alli one the three types nodabodu similarly concave lens allo kuda you can see three types so what are they here you can see the uh, hierarchy that i have given here so what does it say types of lens ali ikade left hand left side ali you have a convex lens on to the right hand side you have a concave lens convex lens can be further uh, split into or divided or you can say the types of convex lenses plano convex lens biconvex lens or this can be called as double convex lens 
or it can simply be called convex lens and the next one is convex so sorry concave convex lens the same thing you can see on to the right hand side for concave lens which is planar concave lens biconcave lens or double concave lens or simply it can be termed as concave lens and the third type is convex or concave lens now let us go in detail about each type each type mean to say i just concentrated only on convex lens and concave lens the first one is convex lens so whenever you hear the word convex lens ninna kannu munde barbeku so how is that anta you should not get confused with the lens the type of lens okay so what is a convex lens a convex lens it is a lens which is thicker at the middle that is which is bulger bulged and which is thinner at the edges so such a type of lens is called as convex lens so idu nodbeku antandre so it is this is how it appears i have also put another a diagram so which says and we know convex lens is also called as converging lens because whenever we allow a parallel beam of light it appears to focus or meet at a certain point all the rays will come and meet which you can say in other words it is converging at a point and therefore the lens is called as converging lens and a point elli meet aagtidiyo adanna navu enanta karithivi focal point athwa principal focus anta kuda navu karithivi and one more thing that we need to keep in mind elli converging lens athwa convex lens alli what will be the focal length anodana we have to keep in mind it will be dealt further okay next so a convex lens alle types barutte so the types of convex lenses what i have given in the previous slide so diagrams anna matra hakidini so double convex andre eradu kode kuda spherical irutte plano convex antandre one side it will be plain and other side it will be spherical in shape so concave convex antandre both the combination of both the lenses so you can just go through the diagrams here next comes the uses of convex lens so where all this convex lens can be used the convex lens can be used in microscopes for magnifying glasses to converge all incoming light rays it can be used in cameras it can be used in telescopes it can be used in projector it can also be used in our eye glasses that is in particular to the person who is having long sightedness so in order to cure that we can use a convex lens okay so next comes concave lens concave lens andre eno so it is a lens which is thinner at the center and thicker at the edges pictorially representing so you can see the uh, lens which has been a man holding it and we know that just like concave lens sorry convex lens which is called as converging lens we can also call concave lens as a diverging lens what does it mean it means a ray of light is coming out from a point adella convex alli meet aagta itu concave alli enagutad one point indu horugade bartta ide so it is diverging so therefore such a lens is called as diverging lens okay now now comes the types of concave lens the same thing so whatever the types of lens that uh, you see in convex lens so the same type of lens you see in concave lens also biconcave convex concave and plano concave and coming to uses this is also being used in telescopes binoculars cameras eye glasses so eye glasses ganta bandaga particularly myopia anno ondu eye defect avrige use martidi that is nothing but short sightedness and it is also used in flash lights so these are the uses of concave and convex lens next what is that we will be learning so next is some of the terms that will help us in understanding image formation so on the image formation aagta ide convex lens al agirbodu concave lens al agirbodu alli image formation aagta ide antandre you cannot just blindly see and say this is how it is bond ishtu doordal aagta ide alla aagta ide illa aagta ide anta you cannot say what is that you need to do you need to explain in using some uh, technical terms or you can say the terms which we use in physics so we are jotting down all this and let us try to understand that so here i am taking a convex lens and we know the center of the convex lens is called as the optic center and it has been denoted by a letter o 
Next, a line passing through optic center is called as principal axis. Okay. Next, uh, just for my reference, I have considered an object and I have just considered the rays that is an image formation. When the understanding goes to Ashtabhardhiradu, I'm not explaining any specific uh, cases here. Just for understanding, I have drawn the uh, ray diagrams and an object here. Uh, please don't uh, uh, try to find the fault that okay, image formation according to the table and the body. This is only for understanding that I have put. Next. Next is F1 and F2. So F1 and F2 are nothing but the principal foci. So which has been uh, on both the sides because we have two spherical uh, parts. Next is 2F1 and 2F2, which is called as center of curvature. So you have two center of curvature on either side of the lens. And this can also be referred as center of, I mean, this can also be taken as the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature is nothing but the twice of focal length. So our distance and our radius of curvature and the whole booth, a point in a center of curvature. That is a 2F1 on a point in the now. Uh, C1 at the center of curvature and the The distance from optic center to 2F1 at 2F2 can be taken as radius of curvature. So this is very much important because you'll be getting the question on this particular topic also. Next is the U. The distance between an optic center and the object is called as object distance. Similarly, the V, the distance between the optic center and the image where it is formed, a point it is called as image distance. Last, that is the distance between the optic center and the principal focus is called as the focal length. So these are certain terminologies that we need to understand and keep those in your mind, student. Each and every point can be asked in your multiple choice question. What is optic center? What is center of curvature? What is object distance? All this type of uh, questions can be asked in each and every concept that we learn now. Next, moving on, uh, we'll go for image formation in convex lens. So we know that we have six different cases when it comes to convex lens. So we will be dealing one by one. Okay. The first one, the case one. So what is that? It says, it says when an object is at infinity. So we get an image at focus F2 and the size, the relative size of the image is highly diminished and point sized and the nature of the image is real and inverted. So you are very clear with this. You have practiced this. You have mugged it up this table so many times, but at the same time, you have to be very, very clear with this table. Each and every row can be asked in different way in your multiple choice question. So this is the case one. So case one, Andre, you know, infinity litta agana me image al barate at focus f two ali barate, and the nature is real and inverted, and it is highly diminished. Andre, size of tumba tumba chikda agirate, which is nothing but point size. Next, moving on, we'll go for case two. Case two, bandaga, it is they are placing the object beyond two f one. You can go through the diagram which I have put down beyond 2f1 so if you place an object beyond 2f1 the position of the image will be between f2 and 2f2 the size of the image will be diminished and the nature will be real and inverted moving on we have next case where the object is placed at 2f1 or you can say the object is placed at center of curvature so when an object is placed at center of curvature where do we get the image we get at the center of curvature only, but onto the other side. That is, if you place an object at 2F1, we get an image at 2F2. Then what will be the size? What will be the nature? The size of the image will be same as that of the object. So it is same size. But what is the nature? It is real and inverted. E particular case, all examiners have a point. E particular point when it tumas akash to wear the questions and an hour bodu. You'll be seeing in further in my slides also further. Okay, so this is the diagram that we will be referring. And now moving on to the case four. Case four is nothing but when an object is placed between F1 and 2F1. Where do we get the object? Sorry, where do we get the image? We'll get beyond 
to F2. Relative size of the image is enlarged. Nature of the image is real and inverted. Hello, ma'am. Is this uh, screen not sharing? No, ma'am. Am I in the case four? No, ma'am. You are in case two. Leela, ma'am, can you just see me whether it is in the case four or case two? Case two, na Leela, ma'am. Case two. Okay. Shall I reshare the screen, ma'am? Okay. Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, can you just see me whether it has been visible now? Hello, Ma'am. Hello, am I audible? Yes, Ma'am, you are. Uh, is it in uh, students? Is it in the case three? Yes, Ma'am, it's in case three. Yes, okay, okay. Thank you, students. So, case two, Tanka Artha Agi then Koltini. So, now we'll move for the case three. So case three is a very uh, important uh, thing. So it is nothing but uh, when an object is placed at excuse two, me, ma'am. One. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, case one in the nante explain madi maklu kiri ta idhar ad guta gilanta. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Let's okay, go back. Just a minute, students. I'll just uh, cut that point. Okay. Yes, a uh, case one students. Uh, yes, so these are all the cases that we have learned in convex lens. You know that there are six different cases in a convex lens. So convex lens only modulate case in on the object to infinity. Lide. We are imagining that there is an object at infinity. And we know that when an object is placed at infinity, all the rays which is coming from infinity, it is uh, it is assumed or it, it is not assumed. It is taken as uh, which is in the form of parallel rays. So when an object is kept at infinity, the position of the image, so where we will get the image. So we will get at focus. So this is the point where the image is formed. What about the nature and what about the size of the image? It is highly diminished and it is real and inverted. Okay. Now, moving on, case two. So, case two only in Helate, see infinity I two, Ivag Hatatra Bartidi, Yau the Katra Bartidi, lens Yah Tatra Bartidi. So, infinity in the Sulpa Mundak Bartidi. So, now we are keeping the object where beyond 2F1. So, Illi Taga, Yelli Nami image formation Agatha, you can go through the uh, diagram here below which I have given. You can see that the ray of light which has been coming. So, one we have taken from the topmost of the object, so which is pa parallel to the principal axis, and another ray which is passing through the optic center. So, if Ella Kuda and Agatha, one the point Ella meet Agatha, a point Ella in Tandre, it is between F2 and 2F2. So, therefore, the image is formed between F2 and 2f2. What will be the size? The size will be now also diminished. Diminished antande chikudu when it is compared to object. And the nature will be always matte ulta, real and inverted. Okay. Next, moving on to case 3. So, case 3, as I said before, and I am saying right now, this case 3 is a very, very important case because e particular case only, Sakshtoriti question anna kele bodu. At the same time, it is very easy also. Bega easy agi track maad bodu, arthanu aagitthe. Ya kendra, see, you can see the diagram below and the table which I have given above. Yelli im object niti dare at 2F1. Andre, lens ina edabagal ali tini at center of curvature. Center of curvature only object it taga, refraction agate, and it passes through lens. 
ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಲಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಎರಡೂ ಕಡೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಸಾರಿ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಟು ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ಟೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಲಿ this what will be the size the size of the image will be same as that of the object object is to length irutho image kuda ashte length athwa height irutte what about the nature it will be real and inverted okay next case 4 so what is case 4 so case 4 ivage enatha artha aagide nimage bartha 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 na ven martide case 1 inda case 4 ig bartha nodtidira we are coming closer to the lens so ega navu we are kept the object between f1 and 2f1 so illi ittaga image ella agutte image ge elli formation agutte andre beyond 2f1 so object to nave en maartta idivi lens hatatra tartta idivi at the same time try to observe the image formation image formation en aagta ide lens inda dura 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 hogta ide okay so next relative size en aagta ide it is enlarged nature of the image will be real and inverted okay next moving on the fifth case fifth case en helutte the position of the object is at focus andre f1 idiyala lens ina edabagadalli f1 idiyala alli object ana ittaga yav reethi image formation agutte this is at infinity relative size of the image is infinitely large or highly enlarged real and inverted sakashtu ello doordalli namage image formation agutte adannu kuda nave en maadabodu so we can capture and therefore it is an inverted real and inverted image next next comes the last case in the convex lens which is also very much important and it is also easy for you people to track yenike anta last alli ee case six aadmel helthin so now Uh, we are moving very very close to the convex lens thira hatrike bandidivi where is that between the focus f1 and optic center o you can agutte so here you see you don't see an image formation onto the right hand side you see an image formation onto the left side itself object alli to alli image formation aagta ide so if you are standing the image formation is in the same plane nimma plane indene image formation aagta ide and the size is enlarged and here the nature of the image is virtual and direct virtual and direct antandre this cannot be captured on the screen so therefore it is virtual and direct so yake the important to anta helade antandre if you have carefully observed all the three oh sorry all the six cases in image formation in convex lens in all the first five cases when you see the nature of the image you see real and inverted so this is only one case in convex lens where you get a special characteristics which is virtual and erect so idond concept nimage clear ag artha agibittidre nimage munde multiple choice questions alli hege artha maadkolodu nanu kuda nimage gothagutte okay this these are all the cases in convex lens now we will move on to one more lens which is quite easy because alliro the erade erade case so which is concave lens so concave lens alli namage gottirodu erade erade possible cases kottirodu erade erade possible cases anodikkinta illi illu kuda you can see all the six cases adre first case matra which you saw in concave lens which is at infinity same you can see here but there is a changes similarly in mikit five cases na ven nodivo illu kuda five cases na nodabahudu keeping the object at all the points which we had kept for concave lens sorry convex lens illi eno erade erade case ide antandre ondu first at infinity bitto in elle object na ittru kuda namage ide property ide feature barutte which is at the second row ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಡಿಮಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡೇ ಎರಡು ಕಾಲಮ್ ಇದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಡಿಮಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್
and it is virtual and erect. Why it is virtual and erect? And then it is on the same side of the object, and therefore it is virtual and erect. Next is the second case. Second case will be observe Madi. What is that saying? They are saying between infinity and optic center. And then infinity in the hatatra kila lens atra barbe kadre. We saw all five different cases in convex lens. Adhe riti illu kora different cases ali na vitro kora. Yalla cases allu na me gain barate. And then ide vandu image formation na characteristics barate. Between focus f1 and optic center. Ya vaglu kora image formation ena gatte. Between focus f1 and optic center ay barate. And it will be diminished. virtual and erect ma'am diminished and takshana ella cases allu onde size iratha no diminished anta bandaga what is that you need to understand is it is when compared to object object ge compare madidre small iratha size so avaga adanna nam diminished anta heltivi and this case is also very much important because idu namak sulabhavagi nam marks galanna galasodikke help agutte yake andre illi irod yerade case ಎರಡು ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ನಮಗ್ ಬರುವಂತದ್ದು ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎರಡು ಕೇಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಂತದ್ದೇ ಡಿಮಿನಿಷ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ನೀವು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ನೀವು ಪಕ್ಕಾ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಕೆ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ So when it comes to sign convention for lenses, we know that we follow, we go for Cartesian system. So Cartesian system, anta banda ka, we know that center, which is on say origin, is considered to be as origin. So when it comes here, I'll just go with the first one, convex lens anta bolte ni. So a lens ali madhyali diya la optic center, adhen na origin anta origin anta to bolte ni. And the principal axis, which is horizontal. so that is considered to be as x axis and if you imagine a line a perpendicular line perpendicular to the principal axis which is passing through optic center so that will serve as a y axis idu nimage ishtu gottidre next en artha maadkolbeku namma ondu anukolakke we always keep our object onto the left hand side of the object so left hand side anta bandaga cartesian system ali i'm sorry you know that it is negative x axis so therefore object is always u is equal to minus v both in convex lens and concave lens next convex lens ali we know that the image is formed onto the right hand side in all the first five cases and therefore v is taken to be positive except the last case where v becomes negative in the last case okay i am referring to the table which just now i explained students ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ನೌ ನೌ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಇಂದ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಗಿಂತ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಯು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾನ್ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಎರಡು ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯು ಸಿ ಬೋತ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಬೋತ್ ಎರಡು ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಂತಹ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ವಿ ಶಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ we know what is a lens formula see here lens formula and magnification i have put in in the same mock picture one thing you need to keep in mind students when it comes to lens formula you should always concentrate which is the first term that you need to write 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f is the lens formula what they usually do is u v alphabetical order la u v in tabarat anta en maadibidtivi u v right wrong 1 by u minus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f formula ne tappu bardibitre even if you do your mathematics very well that is in solving the problem you will end with a wrong answer so please keep in mind it is always 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f this is the lens formula next formula that you need to keep in mind is magnification so magnification anta bandaga don't get this idea that only increase agutte antala decrease u kuda agutte 
ಸೊ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆದ್ರೂ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಇಮೇಜ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆದ್ರೂ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇ ಹೈಟ್ ಹೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಬೈ ಹೆಚ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲೇನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಏ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಅಥವಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ this is very very important students we know in magnification anta bandaga it is purely a numerical value that we get one the number barutte aa number enagirutte kelu omme greater than 1 agirutte mattu less than 1 agirutte idu one thing this is the one thing that you need to concentrate similarly sometimes you get a positive value sometimes you get a negative value so these are the two factors that you need to keep in mind in order to decide the nature of the image formed yenella concentrate maadbeku anodana let us see first one magnification formula you know hakthira you will get the value so m is equal to one positive plus some value barutte so avaga adar nature enagirutte image ina nature enagirutte and it will be always virtual and direct when m is equal to positive value you should understand that it is in virtual and direct next when magnification is negative minus some value barutte m is equal to andaga it is always real and inverted this is this holds good for both concave and convex lens yavde neevu lens ga hakondru kuda idu nimmige hold good agutte next magnification less than 1 less than 1 and 1 andre 0.33 point 0.4 ee reethi bandaga it says it is diminished size reduce agide ant artha next magnification greater than 1 1.2 2.33 ee thara values bandre artha enu the image size is increased athwa height of the image jaasti agide when it compared to that of the object okay so if you can say it as enlarged next magnification is equal to 1 ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಒನ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಇವು ನಿಮಗೆ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಒನ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ನಂಬರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವ ನಂಬರ್ ಎರಡೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಮಗ್ ಒನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅನಾಲಜಿ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವಿ ಬೈ ಯು ವಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಎರಡೂ ಒಂದೇ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಎರಡು ಸೇಮ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹ್ಯೂರ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಝೀರೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಝೀರೋ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ನೋ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಝೀರೋ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಿ ಅಟ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಝೀರೋ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ನೀವು ನನಗೆ ಜಸ್ಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್
ಸೊ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ಬಲಭಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬಲಭಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕಾರ್ಟೀಷಿಯನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎಫ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಪಿ ಎಫ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಫ್ ಪಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪಿ ಕೂಡ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪಿ ಕೂಡ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇತ್ತ ಪಿ ಕೂಡ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಬರ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಎಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಪಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನಾಲಜಿ ಆರ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ಣು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಕಾನ್ಕೇವ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಫ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಪವರ್ ಕೂಡ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಕನ್ವರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಅಥವಾ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಪವರ್ ಯಾವಾಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಡೈವರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಪವರ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ನೀವು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಉತ್ತರ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯುವರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎಫ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ most of the time what we go wrong here is namage focal length centimeter al kottirtare find the power anta keltare what we will do we will just directly take a reciprocal of the given focal length and we will keep the answer but we know power is expressed in diopter which is an si unit so therefore focal length which is nothing but the length should also be expressed in meters anodu talel barbeku so when a focal length is expressed in meters you can directly take a power in in terms of diopter illwa centimeter lide meter i convert maadbeku so all you need to keep in mind is focal length should be in expressed in meters because power is expressed in an si unit which is diopter okay i hope you have understood uh, all these uh, sections which we uh, explained which i explained right now and there is no doubt in this so now we will go for the multiple choice questions section so wherein uh, i request the students to answer so you can answer uh, you, anybody can answer so go let us go with that session so it is quite interesting i have picked uh, questions from all the sources uh, very easy questions are been uh, put up the, at the end so i have given you so i'll give you the instructions see here in a multiple choice question what i have given is i've, I've stated the question i've given the uh, answer also at the same time i have also given an explanation on to the right hand side so you can go through the explanation i am also explaining meanwhile and at the end of the uh, this uh, session or this uh, uh, slide there are certain uh, around 10 questions wherein i have not put an explanation which means that they those are very pretty straight forward question and which are also a repeated uh, things which i have done which i'll be discussing uh, now in the first uh, two to three slides of the multiple choice questions yes uh, one students one are you re- one minute please sorry for the interruption uh, one yes, minute message kodbekagittu makkalige naale more classes irutte ivattu maths class yen miss agide ad naale irutte adr jothe science heredity and evolution adr jothe social uh, class irutte ಸೊ ನಾಳೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಂದ ಇದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಂದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಂಜೆ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾಳೆ ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ನಾಳೆ ಕವರ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಹಾಂ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್
the relation between radius of curvature and the focal length of a lens is given by so there are four options r is equal to 2f r is equal to f2 r is equal to 2 by f r is equal to 2 plus f what is the answer ma'am option a r is equal to 2f yes r is equal to 2f is the correct option so i have given you the answer i have also given you the explanation on to the right hand side so you can see here so r is equal to 2f is nothing but it is the distance between the optic center o illi c anta thagondidare ashte don't get confused it is a distance between an optic center and 2f yene keli 2f anta heltidivi antandre the distance between optic center and principal focus ಎಷ್ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಂದ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಫ್ ನಡುವೆ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ನ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋಕಲ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟು ಎಫ್ ಸೊ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ 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 question why it could not be option b ma'am because see f into 2 here it is a multiple of 2 you multiplication anta bandaga illi you can take but now press represent madbekadre 2f anta thagoltevi so here you might yes nee helbe helo helo engide anta andre multiplication anta bandaga f into 2 is 2f itself that is what you have catch the point so it yes, can be a suffix also it can be a suffix also so usually whatever the terminology is that we refer we will concentrate on that illi yenike ee tara kottivi solpa you know nimmanna divert madodikke ee rithi kottivi so when you have a right option you can go with that okay so okay, which is the right option r is equal to 2f very good very good okay uh, yes we'll move on for the second question the magnification of the image produced by convex lens is always See here students, illi, question nod takshan, answer bit, without seeing the the options. I'll not awesome. give you the options. The magnification of the image produced by a concave lens is always. Yes, it is positive. Yes, it is positive. Okay, now can you give me an explanation in terms of whether it is less than one or greater than one or is it equal to one? now see the options and can you answer me whether it is m is equal to 1 m is equal to greater than 1 m is equal to less than 1 m is equal to le- less than 1 ma'am m is equal to greater than 1 okay some are saying m is equal to greater than 1 some are saying m is equal to less than 1 so alpa yochane maadi makkala nan ili see whenever you see such type of lens anna on one concept bandaga correct agi ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಯಾವ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣನೇ ಆ ಎರಡು ಟೇಬಲ್ ಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರಬೇಕು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಂತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಕೇಸಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಯು ಕೇವ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ವೈ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಒನ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಒನ್ ಬಂತು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಲೆಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ನೀವು ಬೇಕ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ನೀವು ಟೇಬಲ್ ನ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಇಂದಾನೆ ನಾನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಹುದು ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ನಮಗೆ ಸೈಜ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕದಾಗಿದೆ ಸೈಜ್ ಚಿಕ್ಕದಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪಿಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ this is pretty pretty straight forward question a ray of light travels from denser to rarer medium than the ray of light so bends towards the normal bends away from the normal towards coincides the with the normal option b bends away from the normal yes so i'll not be explaining this because it is very pretty straight forward and i have explained from the starting itself so the answer is option b and you can see so it bends away from the normal when a ray of light travels from denser medium to r
we'll go for the next question. I'll read out the question for you people. An object is placed 20 centimeter away from the convex lens. A magnified image is obtained on a screen. The position of the object is. So try to understand. See, whenever you're given a question, first one you identify yawa lens anta. Adu pakka gota answer mali easy agata. So here we are going for a convex lens. Convex lens in the bandaga, all the six all the six cases has to be dealt. But illu kuda yaudinala consider mad bahudu yaudin bid bodu na du kuda now tackle mad bodu. Hey, okay, let us let me give you the options. <clears throat> Beyond 2f1, at 2f1, at infinity, between 2f1 and f1. Can anybody answer this? I think most of them are thinking uh, information no sakaktila in order to find the answer and then answer that probably. Can anybody uh, say me the Beyond option? Beyond 2F1. Sorry? Beyond 2F1. Beyond 2F1. Okay. So the answer is D. Why is this D and other than explain Martin? No. See, convex lens and the banda yella cases of togol bekun held. Now, concentrate on the relative size of the image and the question. Magnified image and the kutidare. Magnified and the ili sadekna varta markobe kagudu enlarged tartha. Ali, by chance, in other room, diminished and the kutidar namak directa gotakti to the chick dagi de anta. Ili nam again kutidare, magnified and the particular case ali. Now, what you have to concentrate or you keep in mind is it is enlarged. So enlarge and the bandaga ilina the first three cases and I'm talking about because it is diminished same size highly diminished next that you need to concentrate is the next three next three bandaga nodi one the enlarged either infinitely enlarged either at highly enlarged either but the last case of Kura enlarged either. see more option in order to come to the position of the object column a more column ali run to have value number options ali yao did it is between 2F1 and F1. So when an object is placed at 2F1 and F1, you will get a magnified image. So the question is that you concentrate on the logic of the object. So if you magnified image, you might get confused. Ma'am, magnification is diminished and enlarged. Enlarge so if you direct a magnified image, you should go with an enlarged. So you should keep that in your mind. It is enlarged. And so out of the options which we have given here, it cannot be 2F1 because the same size barat. It cannot be infinity because it gives highly diminished. So it cannot be uh, any other option. So the answer is between 2F1 and F1. Hope you are clear with this. Moving on. We'll go, we shall, we shall, so this is where I want you people to concentrate. Okay. So now moving on, we shall go for the uh, next question, which is straightforward. The power of a lens is plus 2D. The lens is lens convex. See, convex lens focal length. Yes, it is convex lens because we have got positive value. What will be focal length? Centimeter. Yes, it is 50 centimeter. Uh, but some people would have done in meters. Alva kelu makru meters ali madritira. One divided by two and half kultira point five meters anta varate. Actually, if options and not the options more than you held back kultira point five meter anta held tira. But the options which we have given here it is in terms of centimeter. So when it is given in centimeter, what is that we need to do? So the answer is a convex lens of focal length fifty centimeter. Idhe hek bantu ma'am. It is all the conversion. So first, I'm going to decide Marthi, we have lens anta, based on focal length and the power. And we know the formula, P is equal to 1 by F. So I have given all the steps onto the right hand side. I think you can go through that. So focal length is 1 by 2D, so which gives you 0. 0.5 meter. So a meter and an avian Marthi, centimeter ke convert Marthi, you will get as 50 centimeter. So the answer for this is option A. Moving on further, sixth question. An object of height 5 cm is placed in front of concave mirror. Then the height of the image obtained will be. 
ಇದು ಕೂಡ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ದೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ದೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಈಸಿ ಇದೆ ನಾನ್ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮಗ್ ಈಸಿ ಆಗಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರು ಕೇಳಿರೋದು ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗಾಗ್ಲೇ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೂ ಕೇಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ ಕೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಗಿಂತಲೇ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಉತ್ತರನ ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೇನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವೆರಿನ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರೆಫರ್ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ವೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಏನು ರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಷ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಷ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಮಿನಿಷ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ yes it is the second case okay so illi explanation en bekagilla ankoltini it is a very straight forward question so from the table moving on the eighth question the absolute refractive index of glass water diamond and kerosene are 1.5 1.33 2.42 2.4, 2. and 1.44 respectively the medium with greater optical density what is the answer yeah okay just give me in which uh, ಪ್ರಾಪಗೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅದೊಂದು ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪಗೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಪಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ರಿಫ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಪಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಫ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದವರ್ ಆಫ್ Okay, can you convert that into kilometers? 3 lakh kilometers per second. 3 lakh, yes. So it is 3 into option. Can you see me the option? It is option A. B, A. ma'am. B, so, ma'am. Sorry, students. Please kindly ma'am observe. Option B. ಮಕ್ಕಳ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಟ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಟು ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಓ ಎಂ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ತರ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದಾನೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ನಾವು ಕೀನ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ we usually gave uh, 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so adana
I, I think you people are understanding. Okay, so let me give you the option. So I've not mentioned the options. Uh, I have there are four options. So you can say me which is the right option. So what but is that you need to do? Is the right answer. Is it option B? One sali madi makla one by f is equal to one by yes one by v minus one by u on there. You will take the LCM. So LCM is v u agate. So it becomes V minus U in the numerator divided by U V at V U, which is nothing but uh, left hand side one by F. Taking the reciprocal of it, you'll get. So I have given the explanation you can see here. So one by F is equal to. So this is the Lenz formula. So taking the LCM and taking the reciprocal, you'll get F is equal to U V divided by U minus V. So the answer is option A. Okay, so any doubt in this previous question? Can I move further? Yes, ma'am, you can. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So next, as light travels from rarer to denser medium, it will have increased velocity, decreased velocity, decreased wavelength, both B and C. Decreased what is the velocity. answer? Is it only the velocity decreases? Ma'am, option D, both B and C. Both B and C. Yes, both velocity and the wavelength. wavelength changes. So the answer is D. Okay. So when a light ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium, its velocity, wavelength, both decreases, both changes. So V is equal to, V, V, and Tha, that's not V. V is equal to nu lambda, nu antandre frequency, or F lambda anta togol budu. In on the other, C is equal to F lambda. C is the speed of light. Uh, or B is the speed of light to do. F is equal to frequency and lambda is equal to wavelength. Agate. So therefore, okay. Now in the, in the same context, which is that uh, factor which will not change, which which will not get unaffected? Velocity change, agate. wavelength change. Agate. Ya factor change? Agala. It's the frequency frequency same with frequency change agala even though when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium only the velocity and the wavelength changes but the frequency will remain unaltered okay next moving on to the 12th question the angle of incidence i and the angle of refraction r are equal in a transparent slab when the value of i is yavaga i is equal to r agate. So option B 45 degree. On what basis are you saying? So I want a value I is equal to yeah, R. Zero degree. At zero degree. Very good. So I is equal to zero degree. I is equal to zero degree and then the ray of light yauri the incident I get them degree. Sorry. Perpendicular. Yes, it is perpendicular. So it is just like normal again. Like, straight again incident agate. Straight again incident again agate. Ali yaudi adantaha variation irla. Ali and agala. You don't see a bending on either side. So again agate angle of incidence but angle of refraction in agate. Yerudu kuda same agate. When you uh, incident a ray perpendicular to the principal, sorry, perpendicular to the plane of surface. So the explanation bandaka when an incident ray falls normally on a glass slab, it will refract with it will get refracted without deviation. Yeah, the deviation will there. So my straight pass agate when it even though when it travels from one medium to another medium. So I is equal to R Yava Gagate and Tadre when I is zero. When I is equal to zero. So R becomes zero. So this can be calculated using Snell's law, wherein sin I by sin I is equal to sin i by sin r is equal to a refractive index constant n wherein that is also being given as v1 by v2 so even the context study now is in a room or condo okay moving on further we'll go for the 13th question the angle between incident ray and the plane of ref, uh, ref, surface of refraction is 35 degree then the angle of incidence is so this is a bit a tricky question so see the options and say me the answer Question in a karta karta mark koli makla angle between the incident ray and the plane of surface of refraction is 35 degree. Then the angle of incidence is. 
sorry sir you are not audible you are not audible students can you please be louder option c what is the right a yes option c yes 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 very good students option c it is 55 degree so explanation illi right side bartta idini nodi so 35 degree haki idini so we need to find the angle between the incident ray and the normal where i have put the question mark so hey calculate madu avaru 90 degree irbeku minus 35 madbeku ma'am yes 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 very good so 90 minus 35 is 55 degree i hope ee question artha agide okay so ee tara prashne galu barutte it is one one sali yav reethi madodu anta gottadre you can easily uh, go with this type of questions moving on 14th question the refractive index of sorry students yar do disturbance aagta ide the refractive index of transparent medium is greater than 1 because write down the options option a option b option c option d which is the right answer the refractive index of transparent medium is greater than 1 yeah ma'am yeah okay is it option a yes ma'am just just check out option option b. option b the speed of light in vacuum is greater than speed of light in transparent medium yavaga greater baruthe refractive index of transparent medium is greater anta yavaga baruthe andre it is simple calculations which you can do it mathematically so yavaga namage 1 baruthe for example 3 by 2 anodu namage 1.5 anta answer baruthe so ad yavaga baruthe numerator jaasti idu denominator kadame irbeku So, so So, 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 numerator so, dividing this, you'll get a number which is 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 greater 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 than 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 1. So, therefore, it says speed of, sorry, speed of 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 sorry, light light in in vacuum is greater than speed of light in transparent medium. So, so here it is a, a formula or the concept that you can understand. Here mu anta idha, it is nothing but the refractive index which is given by speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in medium in any medium. so you know we all know that ray of light or the speed of light is maxi- it is maximum only in in terms of air or a vacuum okay so vacuum alli jaasti irutte which is nothing but 3 point something 3 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so in mimic it ella medium alli kuda enagutte speed of light is less so therefore you can say the reason is the speed of light in vacuum is greater than speed of light in transparent medium okay i hope you have got this answer we shall go for the next question 15 the refractive index of water is 1.33 the speed of light in water will be so this is a question which i said that it is based on absolute refractive index can you calculate and just directly say me the answer without seeing the option so take the speed of light in vacuum to be 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and take a refractive index n is equal to 1 point sorry hello pa you were 2. in 2.2 okay so let me check out the options 1.33 3 2.26 2.66 2. so which is the right option option c ma'am option c very good so the answer is option c so explanation i have given you simple calculation So c is equal to p by uh, sorry c n is equal to c by uh, v. I have called it. So I then have called that. Try directly new values and I have called interchange mark called it. So interchange mark called that. You will get the answer 2.26 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Moving on, 16th question. You are given three media A, B, C of refractive index 1.33, 1.65, 1.46. In which medium the light will travel faster? One point. This is one point. Um, in media A, yeah, ma'am. One point three media A. Yeah. Atwa, you can say that. Yaav medium alli refractive index kadme irutto. Alli speed of light ei naigrette faster irutte. Yaav medium denser aigrutto. Alli speed of light ei naigrette it will be less. So the options A, B, C equal in all three media. So what is the answer? A option A. Yeah. So the explanation is here. The light will travel faster in a medium having lower refractive index. Refractive index it is a measure of optical density, 
as medium becomes more denser the light propagation becomes slow so is to concept evo artha maadkondirbe moving on 17th question a divergent lens will okay. produce no i'm not giving which i'm not asking you to identify which lens my question is a divergent lens yavaglu kuda yava reeti aadantaha image barutte say it in terms of say it in terms of the nature of the image and also yes so it is virtual ma'am virtual erect it is virtual erect and diminished so which is the answer Option B, the B, always virtual image. Yes, yes, very good, very good, students. It is option B. It is always virtual image. So I don't think so. You require more explanation on this. It, it, the table says everything here. Moving on, 18th question. Uh, e 18th question and 19th question also little bit challenging there. No worry. If I am to explain more about that, there is so much time here. I think you can answer this very well. When object moves closer to convex lens. the image formed by it shift let me give you the options away from the lens towards the lens first towards and yeah. then away from the lens first um, option, option, yeah. option c so to concentrate body makla then towards away from the lens yes um, option d so nan helta bande inu on madidali you have a lens infinity inda nave en martidivi object anna hatatra k thogo bartta idivi But what about the image formation? Lens in the eye, not there. Dura dura hook there. So the answer is option A, away from the lens. So illy, I have given all the six cases here. All the six cases are noted. Aga, try to concentrate on the right part. That is image formation. Aga, thala ad a part na concentrate. Madi, if you concentrate, you see first of all, F one na litto. मत नेक्स्ट एफ टू इन टू एफ वन मध्य बंत नेक्स्ट टू एफ की हिंदे हूँ नेक्स्ट मत टू एफ दिन हिंदे हूँ हाँ हिंदे हिंदे हा होते बट लास्ट केस ना तक बट कंपेरेबली बेरे कंपेर ना जनरल अंतर्रे इट इस शिफ्टिंग टूवर्ड्स रईट अंत फस्ट टूवर्ड्स अंड अवे फ्रम दें तक बट यूशली वि नाट कन्सिडर दट आपशन ओके नेक्स्ट 19th question when object moves closer to a concave lens the image formed is a shift this is an opposite of the previous um, question in agutte away from the lens on the same ma'am towards the lens towards the lens when an object infinity image is formed at the focus so you can see it is towards the lens and the lens andre yav rithi thagonta idivi antandre so you you can you will try you will get confused in this particular point towards the lens andre lens hatatrakke andre balagade inda barbekadre nave en martivi illi image formation en aagta ide namma lens hatatrane bartta ide antu artha madkobeku okay next 20th question the distance between the optic center and the point of convergence is called as focal length ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಇಮೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ which is the right option which option option c option c yes option c is the right answer so we know that uh, the parallel rays after refracting meet at the focus of a convex lens and that is called as focal length next moving on 21st question <clears throat> i'm sorry a ray of light travels from air to glass which of the figure represent it tumba easy ide makla idu heli nodana tumba ne easy ide ma'am option c c option c yes the answer is option, option c. c yes kottala nimage sumar sali question anna bandide matte sumar sali kaltidira so the answer is option c next 22nd light ray enters from medium a to medium b as shown in the hello ma'am you are not audible ma'am you are not audible 
Am I audible now, students? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are audible okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now see here. Here you need to concentrate on from which medium to which medium does the light is passing, and you need to clearly see whether the ray of light is getting refract. Uh, so I mean, either it is moving towards the normal or away from the normal. So based on this, you can answer this question. So these are the two factors that you need to keep in mind while answering this question. Any guesses? Ma'am, less than greater than unity. Yes, the answer is less than unity. How did you? Can anybody explain how can you? How did you get the answer less than unity? Ah, uh, ma'am, the ray which passed after uh, normal refraction is mm -hmm. towards the normal. Is it towards the normal? No, ma'am. It's away from the normal. Yes, it is away from the normal. It is away from the normal, Andre. So, a ray of light is passing from denser medium to rarer medium. Rarer medium. And what denser medium in the rarer medium? Give birth to So, denser medium in the rarer medium. Give birth to it, Andre. Denser in the medium, refractive index in a girette, at the speed of light in a girette. But the rarer medium is the concept of the concept. Tensile medium, we know that the speed of light is less when compared to the speed of light in air. Alpha. So, air maximum is less. So, male is less. So, male is less. So, male is less. So, male So, male is less. So, male is less. So, greater number is less. So, obviously, we will get a number which is less than 1. Point something. Barate. Alpha. So, therefore, the answer will be less than 1. Or the answer is less than unity which is option b artha agidiya makkala idin yav rithi artha maadkolbeku anta gottayta ma'am what is the mean unity or unity anta unity andre 1 1 1 1 1 okay madam thank you 1 so it is less than 1 held unity andre it is 1 anta artha artha aita yav rithi artha maadkolbeku in what context you need to understand and an answer this anad gottayta yes right can i move okay moving further so, 23rd question, which of the following statement is true? So, I want you people Your to read the presenting, ma a screen share again. Okay, ma'am, I'll just reshare the screen. Okay. Wait a minute, students, I'll just come back. So we were in now which question, students, so that I can go straight away with that. Uh, question number 23, ma'am. Question number 23, ma'am. Question number 23. I hope uh, we were, yes, we were in this. So let me give a slideshow. Yes, yes. Can you see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, now uh, you need to read all the options here and say me which is true. So try to concentrate on this. Please do concentrate on the plus sign, minus sign, meters, which are, but you have all the options in meter itself. Nothing to worry about it. Which statement is true? Uh, yeah. Sorry, student, you're not audible. Can you be more? Ma'am, option A is the right answer, ma'am. Option A. Let me check out. Yes, very good. Option A is true so you know it so it is a convex lens so lens no compare so convex lens or concave lens and the node kondo otherly positive and negative and no you can go with this answer so positive sign with power and focal length indicates that the given lens is convex so therefore the first statement is true here moving on 24th the path of ray of light coming from air passing through a rectangular glass slab traced by four students are shown A, B, C, D in the figure. Which one is correct? Which option is correct here? Option B. Option B. Option B. 
option D. So this is entirely on the concept of rectangular slab. So all the magote no thandre incident ray matto barwan ta emergent ray na agirta parallel agirta. So after that do option B matra na magado resemble agta hai. So therefore the answer is option B. Okay. Moving on twenty fifth. In the given figure below, the nature and the size of the image is. Let me not give you the options. Even Just if... say me. No, you need to give me full. Diminished. Yes. So now say me the answer. Option D. Option D. Yes. Very good. So therefore, this is nothing but you go go through the table and also the diagrams. Okay. Next, moving on. Twenty sixth. If the magnification produced by a lens has a negative value, the image will be diminished. No, no, no. See, it's the option. Virtual and direct, ma'am. Virtual and direct. Ma'am, option B. Virtual and option B. Yes, virtual. If the magnification produced by a lens has a negative value, real and inverted, ma'am. No, I have put an option, so therefore, don't say me the answer. I want you to give me a justification. नेगेटिव आगे इधर है कॉन्वेक्स लेंस साइड सॉरी ये लेना लेंस पर क्या मात्रा कॉन के वो कॉन्वेक्स लेंस अंदर रियल एंडिंग यस इमेज आओ लो रियल एंड इन्वर्टेड कॉन्वेक्स अली रियल एंड इन्वर्टेड बरत पे मैग्निफाइड आगे रत पे इट इस नेगेटिव वैल्यू उन ता हेड दे शो कॉन के वन तंदरे इट विल बी पॉ Yes, magnification is the ratio of the image distance by object distance. Now, go to in a convex lens, object distance is negative, image distance is positive. So, dividing one over the other, now we are getting a negative value. But so, therefore, answer is option D. So, this is all the hard work. So, we are going to do all the hard work. Okay. Next, moving further, twenty seventh question: Magnifying power of a convex lens is answer. Question is a concave lens. Concave lens. No, say me now. Can you are you not able to see the options? Man, options for the concave lens. Man, we can, we can. Concave lens, you should sit, man. Which one? No, I'm I'm more forward. Uh, when the question is made, twenty seventh question is brought to me. Man, what is magnifying power of a concave lens is? Man. Yes, man. If I'm fast, always you greater me, than one, ma'am. Always. Greater than one. No. Less than one means. Concave alva, concave alam gira gatte. Yawa glu kora diminished baratte. Diminished ban toh antandre it is less than one. Okay. So this e concept munche yawa do pere prashne lo kora bandhi to, but in a different way. So concave antandre it is always diminished and therefore it will be always m value will be less than one. Okay. Next, moving on. Where should an object be placed? Sorry, placed in front of a convex lens to get a real image of the size of a object. Mama, two F one. Yes, very good. So here you can say at where is that? Mama, option B is the focal length. Yes, option B it is the twice of the focal length. Ily, the option is na two F one. That could be the direct agi. Atwa you can give uh, take it as a radius of curvature twice the radius of curvature. That could be do. Atwa you can also get uh, sorry radius of curvature. That could be do. Or you can get a center of curvature. That could be option is na could be do. So the answer is B. So this is the case. So this is the case. I had said E question is na E particular concept is beka directly you can get the question. Moving further. Twenty ninth, when light goes from one medium to another, the characteristics that remain unaffected is. It's not only scale, but it is frequency. Frequency. So the answer is option D. Frequency remains constant; it will not change. Uh, but the uh, velocity and the wavelength will change. Okay. Moving on, an object is placed twenty centimeter away from a convex lens of focal length ten centimeter. The position of the image is. Try to concentrate on the question here. They have given you U. They have given you F. They have given you the information of which type of lens is that. You need to I'm identify. Option B at two F two, ma'am. V. Yes. 
there are two different methods that you can do it either that is you can do mathematically u kottidare f kottidare so f na now minus 10 anta hakoltidi u uh, it will be sorry f is equal to plus uh, 10 cm and u will be taken as minus 20 cm calculating using lens formula you will get the same as that of u object distance estu baruthe ide distance ashte baruthe this is one method of doing it idi innon method anta andre see here f is 10 and object is twice that of it so which means that which is same as that of 2f1 anta baruthe so therefore the image will be 2f2 so you can answer in the two different ways mean to say you can understand in two different ways and you can answer so the calculations i have uh, written on to the right hand side so here you can use the lens formula and calculate so therefore the object distance and uh, sorry it is image distance makkalli object object distance anta agutide so both image distance and object distance are equal which means they are of same size that is when an object is kept at center of curvature next moving on so 31st question if magnification of image is plus 1 then i think you are able to see the options just read out the options and say me which is the answer which is the right answer from option a is it option a so when i spoke about magnification lm is equal to 1 and aga i said it is the object is the image is same. yes the image is same as that of the object in terms of size but the nature of the image that we get is real and inverted so therefore the answer is option b image size is equal to the object and inverted okay so this is the uh, case at 2f1 ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಬಂದಿದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೀಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ನೀಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಅ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಎ ಟು ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಬಿ ರಿಫ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಬಿ ಟು ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಟು ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ i hope you saw the answer and i think you can so here the ray of light is traveling from medium a to medium b where the angle of incidence is 30 degree is it 30 degree or 60 degree are you people following am i audible to you yes ma'am yes ma'am are you calculating it Um, so, okay see i'll just give you a clue students here the ray of light is traveling from medium a to medium b and the angle of incidence is 60 degree and angle of refraction is 45 degree use snell's law use trigonometric ratios and calculate option a option a yeah. so i give i've given you the answer on to the right hand side with an explanation so i is 60 degree r is 45 degree so we need to use snell's law so which is nothing but sin i by sin r and therefore sin 60 degree divided by sin 45 degree sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 and sin 45 degree is 1 over root 2 so doing your mathematics you'll get root 3 by root 2 or root of root 3 by root 2 so the answer is answer a yeah. okay next so with this okay with this questions i have given you the explanation i have given all the things uh, questions which can be given it is not that all possible questions are put in anta la so i have given you some of set of questions which can be asked in each and every topic so the next set of questions which i am giving you i am not be giving you much more explanation because all those questions are very very straight straight forward it is very easy for you people to uh, answer it so i want you i'll not be waiting for you to give me an explanation you just gave me the answer the distance between the optic center and the principal focus is 
What is the answer? Ma'am, focal length. I'll not be giving you the options. I said yes. It is the focal length. Option so next. Option C. When the object is placed between f and two f of a convex lens, the image formed is. Enlarged. Ma'am, beyond two f one. Beyond two f. So it can be enlarged. So our other option cut it. Enlarge and the health three. So e r e t image ge yell baratte na position cut it. E r e t baratte. So the answer is beyond two f. Yes. Moving further. If the power of a lens is minus two d, what is its focal length? Ma'am, minus. Four minus two meter. Minus two meter is it? Minus. It is one over minus zero five. Okay, now you see me. Minus fifty centimeter. Yes, the answer is C. The option C is the right answer. Next, moving further. Next question: An object is placed at f one in front of a convex lens. The magnification of the image is. Okay, let me give you the option. Less than one. Less than one. So try to understand the question, students. Is the question wrong? I mean, the option wrong. An object is placed at f one. So it might be a wrong uh, question. I hope an object is placed at f one in front of a convex lens. Then the magnification of the image is. So convex lens only. F one only it will be. Ma'am, it so, will be infinite image formation. Yes. And also it will enlarge. Yeah. So magnification. So I think. So I think uh, I have given the option uh, wrong. I hope right. Yes, But I think the answer is. Option. I think greater than one. Yes, greater than one you can take, or else if I change the question to as uh, if I keep the object uh, at two f one. Yeah. If I change the question as two f one, then the option will be same. equal and to equal one. To one. Sorry for sorry for the inconvenience, student. Uh, I have missed the question. This can be asked in two different ways. So only f one answer or only so it will be greater than one answer. Barate, but only answer C in our quarter of the hour basis. Pehle anta the when an object is placed at two f one. You will get a image of the same size, wherein the magnification will be equal to one. Okay, so I have just uh, missed that. I'll leave this two f. What is the answer? Run, ma'am. Yes, yes, Sini. Am I not audible? You are, ma'am. You are. Audible. Sir. So can can you just answer this question? Ray of light, one the medium in the another medium hook that there. Are the two medium in a refractive index so one day there. Shall we be confused? Madam, the question. Option C. Bending of light does not occur. बैंड आगे नमगेन मीडियम इन मीडियम हमें मीडियम इन मीडियम अली नो दट दिफ्राक्टिव इंडेक्स आलो चेंजस् बट इफ बोथ द मीडियम आर्विंग द सेम रिफ्राक्टिव इंडेक्स विच मीन दट रे ऑफ लाइट इज ट्रवलिंग इन द सेम मीडियम अंत अर्थ सो दर् फॉर द आंसर इज आपशन सी विच अमांग द फॉलोइंग हाज हईयेस्ट रिफ्राक्टिव इंडेक्स इट इस वेरी ईजी फॉर यू डायमंड So diamond has a refractive index greater, so therefore the answer is option D. Yes, uh, light travels fastest in vacuum. Vacuum. Say me the option. Option B. Yes. Okay. So it is in air. So the answer is option B. 
next the ratio of height of image to the height of object is magnification magnification yes. magnification yes. magnification very good next yes the focal length of a convex lens is 100 cm then its power is 50 Okay, let me give you the options. Sorry, minus, oh. minus one day after. Minus one day. Option D, ma'am. Exactly 0 0.019. So. Is it minus? No, ma'am. Convex lens is always plus. Sorry, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it's plus one day. So power is, yes, we know that power is directly proportional to F. If F is positive, power will be also be positive. So the answer is one diopter. Okay. So you confuse Markolo Kogbadi Makla, lens formula concept and the magnification kakpadi. Magnification at the one, sorry, uh, power kakpadi. Magnification and power are two different uh, concepts. So power and the one that is purely dependent on focal length. So in uh, convex lens, focal length is positive and therefore power will also be positive. And they have given in centimeter. We need to convert that into meter because power is expressed in terms of SI unit diopter. So therefore, the answer is one diopter plus one diopter. So next one. In the figure given below, the nature and the size of the image is virtual and direct. No. Option B. Direct Option B. Direct and enlarged. Option B. Virtual, direct, and Enlarged because this is a convex lens which we have considered, and this is the last case that we have considered. And you know that in the last case we have a virtual erect image and it is an enlarged image. Okay, so I think uh, we are at the end of uh, the session. I hope you have understood everything, whatever that we dealt today. I think all the concepts and all the multiple choice questions are. And were clear for you people. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. And I just want you people to give you this instruction that please do concentrate on the two tables and the diagrams that is image formation and convex lens and concave lens because each and every column or row can be asked in many types of questions. So you have to be very, no. very clear with the question. Okay. I mean, you no. have to be very, very clear with the concept. Yes, 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 you can. Yes. Um, Uma, madam. I don't think so. Is, is she there? Leela, ma? Uh, yeah. Students, Hello? do you have any? Hey, ma'am. Ah, hey, pa. Madam, I have a shortcut method, ma'am. Table and app yeah. card, okay? Position, nature, okay. and... Uh... Size of the image na, nam ni wakasha na kotra na na health in madam. Hello, kotra hello. Nam nangge screen present mat kora ka wakasha mat kora kalta. Panelist mat tare, lila panelist madi. Hello ma'am. Shall I stop? Panelist mat budi, mat budi do presentation nge wakasha mat kodi. Ano screen present mat adre, yado shortcut mete dal kotra nante. Uh, Ma'am, name a student name. Hello, pa. Ma'am, Deekshit VD in the other room, Madam. Uh, shall I stop screening, Ma'am? I mean, the sharing. Okay, okay, okay. Supriya, you have a great presentation. You have a great voice. You have a great voice. Thank you, thank you, Ma'am. Uh, over to you, Deekshit. And uh, we are very happy to see that a student comes in and says uh, such a, a nice uh, suggestion. Uh, that you you have a different idea in uh, keeping this table a uh, quicker way. So yes, I right now I'm ending the session. I mean I'm ending the slide. So over you to thank you. Dikshit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, present now. Ma'am, share content. Yes, go to share content. And uh, share screen. Huh.
settings हेलो मैम यस यू आर ऑडिबल दीक्षित ओके एंड योर स्क्रीन इज बीन शेयरिंग शेल आई स्टार्ट मैम यस यस यू कैन मैम नान स्क्रीन शेयर आग बे करे हेड्स था जाना नान माता डो दो यस यस योर ऑडिबल एंड योर मिस स्क्रीन इज़ आल्सो बीन डिस्प्लेड मैम नान व्हाइट बोर्ड आ दागा हेड्स था जाना मैम वॉइस हो हाँ पाबंद तो नहीं नॉली लेंस ना हाँ कौन डाला लेंस हाँ कौन डो तोरस थे डाला योर वॉइस वाज ऑडिबल य लीला माँ प्रॉब्ली उन वॉइस पर्ते लांस होते हैं बनी इस हेली मैम ना मार्टर ताई दीवी आउन का आउन के डस ताई ला आउन वॉइस बर्ता ही ला माँ इस इट्स नॉट रीचिंग मेरा मिला निम्न वॉइस के डस ताई दे बट ना नी स्क्रीनिंग बंद आग मात्रा ना वॉइस के डस ताई दे आ स्क्रीनिंग वो दग ना के डस ताई ला no you just uh, try to uh, do an settings in the app uh, which is it whiteboard that has been cisco webex alli iruvanta whiteboard nu upayogistha idya athwa any other app no ma'am bere uh, app use martta idini so alli bandaga you need to change the setting and set i hope alli i think uh, you need to change hello display over other apps anta one setting ide ad madu ha madam kotte ma'am adna hmm audio nodu ऑडियो नोड़पा, यूज़ इंटरनेट ऑडियो, कॉल मी कॉल, डोंट कनेक्ट ऑडियो। आई डोंट कनेक्ट ऑडियो ऑन तिदिया लम्बा, आई थिंक दैट कैन बी चेंज्ड एंड सुप्त है, प्रॉब्ली। अल्लाह ला, यूज़ इंटरनेट फॉर ऑडियो अद करेक्ट ही दे। आधे आज तो म्यूट ऑडियो फोन हो। Turn on audio. Audio. I didn't change. Turn on audio. Turn on audio. Mute when connecting audio. Call me. Call in. Oh. I'm not even off. Mad lad, na. Mad no do no do na. Ek baar no do na mata rakhe. Ek kar sata. Hello. Speak out. No, ma'am. Only that. I la probably. Ah, no, no. Setting. Puna change. Mada pa. Okay, ma'am. Adikshit, can okay. you not write it in a sheet of paper and present it so that you can look at the same thing? Uh, yes, if not, I can. I can. Not. I. Appa lila andra. So I think you can do on your camera and why not write it in a sheet of paper and explain. Okay, ma'am. I will try. Yes, uh, back screen now.
हेलो या गो हेड दीक्षित ओके मैडम हाय फ्रेंड्स मैंने बात तो पोजीशन नेचर एंड साइज ऑफ इमेज कॉन्वेक्स लेंस अली है क्या ना आप कैट करो तो इजी आ गया इंता हेल्प करती नहीं ना नों तो मध्यलो प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ना बरी थी नहीं आई थिंक नहीं मैं कांड्स तय दें तान कौन थी नहीं हाय होप कांड्स तय कांड्स तय पा हाँ चल पा हाथ रखते हो लोगों कांड्स तय पा ना नों तो कॉन्वेक्स लेंस ना बरी था इतनी मा पॉइंट्स ना मार्क मारते इतनी ऑप्टिक सेंटर इधो एफ वन इधो टू एफ वन इधो एफ टू मतलब इधो टू एफ टू इगा देर आर सिक्स आर नम्बर के आर चांसेस इधे ना वेल्ले लिट बो दो ऑब्जेक्ट्स ना अंता ना दो वन दो इनफाइनेट लिट बो दो ना ना इनफाइनेट अंता बर इनफाइनेट अंता इट्स आई दिने इन्नों दो यरिडने यरिडने केसो बियोंड टू एफ वन लिट बो दो मोर ने केसो ऑन टू एफ वन लिट बो दो मोर ने केसो बिटवीन टू एफ वन एंड एफ वन लिट बो दो नालक ने दो एफ वन ना लिट बो दो आईड ने दो सॉरी समथिंग वेंट � ओके फोर दिस इज फाइव सिक्स तो बिटवीन एफ वन एंड ऑप्टिक सेंटर इट बोलो क्लियर ना सिक्स जग सिक्स प्लेसेस लिट बोलो वन दो इनफाइनेटली यारे ने दो बियोंड टू एफ वन मोर ने दो टू एफ वन नली टू एफ वन मतलब एफ वन मध्य फोर तो एफ वन में फाइव बिटवीन एफ वन एंड ऑप्टिकल सेंटर सिक्स इट बोलो इगा ना वो इमेज एल फॉर्म आगे तय इंता नोट बे करे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एफ टू एफ टू इंदा ना वो वन टू थ्री ना येल्ले अधे ना वेल नेम मर्द भी अदर आधार द मेले वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ना ना वो मार्क मार्क कौन लोगों ना स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एफ टू इल वन ना तबरी तिनी इवरेटर मध्य टू वन तबरी तिनी थ्री � ऑब्जेक्ट साइड के बरी थी नहीं नोड नोड ये का ना वो ऑब्जेक्ट ना इनफाइनेट लिट रहे इमेज जो एफ टू नल फॉर्म आ गया था ऑब्जेक्ट ना ना वो बियोंड टू एफ वन नंता लिट रहे इमेज जो बिटवीन एफ टू एंड टू एफ टल फॉर्म आ गया था एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ना ना वो एफ टू एफ वन नल लिट रहे टू एफ ट फोर्थ तो बिटवीन टू एफ वन एंड एफ वन नली ट्रे बियोंड टू एफ टू नली फॉर्म आता है दे फिफ्थ तो अट एफ वन नली ट्रे इनफिनिटीली फॉर्म आता है दे सिक्स्थ वन नो बिटवीन एफ वन एंड ओ नली ट्रे ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट तो फॉर्म आता है दे आई थिंक अर्थ आगे दें तान कौन थी नहीं इगा ना वो पो इजी आगे दे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स उन तक नेमिंग मार्क करो दो टू एफ वन इंदा स्टार्ट मार्डी ये ले लेड़ा का गत्ते लिट्टो वन द ना ये इनफाइनेट लिट्टो सिक्स तो अन्ना ना वो वर्चुअल लगे ये ली ऑब्जेक्ट ले रहे तो आधे साइडी गिट बे को इगा ना साइज नोड आता रहे इमेज दो स्टार्ट यारेट ने दो डिमिनिश टाइगर रहता है मोर ने कैसो मोर ने कैसे अंदर टू एफ वन नल टू टू एफ टू नल ऑप्टिक सेंटर इंदा टू एफ वन नो वन दे डिस्टेंस हो मतलब इकड़े नो जी ऑप्टिक सेंटर इंदा टू एफ टू नो वन दे डिस्टेंस ही रहते हैं इंदा इट विल बी सेम साइज मतलब फोर्थ वन नो फोर्थ तो इट विल बी एन इनफाइनेट आगे रहते हैं इंदा इट विल बी हाईली एनलाज्ड हाईली एनलाज्ड सिक्स्थ वन तो वर्चुअल एंड एरेक्ट आगे रहते हैं इंदा इट विल बी एनलाज्ड एंड ना वो नेचर अंता ऐडा जा रहे हैं ना वो ऑब्जेक्ट लेंस इंदा लेफ्ट साइड इट्टा है दिवे इमेज जो लेंस इंदा राइट साइड एक बर्ता है अंता अंदर 
ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಇಂದ ಕೆಳಗ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಕೇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಒಂತ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಟ್ಟಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವೋ ಅದೇ ಸೈಡಿಗೆ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೇಚರ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈಜು ಕೂಡ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಇದೊಂದು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ನ ರಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕೆಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೂ ಅಂತ ಇದೊಂದು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ನ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಸೊ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ದೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ can you do a video of this uh, either it may be your pen and paper uh, scratch or through any app and can you just uh, put a um, either mail us or put a, share it in a whatsapp so that it can be uh, shared to everybody let the, let the, everybody make use of it sure so ma'am. that will serve okay. that will okay. serve everybody okay ma'am and your sure. your working and your efforts will be uh, implemented by everybody okay madam thank you ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೀಯಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗೆ ಈಗ ಸರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಏನಾದರೂ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೋದರೆ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನೈಟು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ನಾಳೆ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅದೇ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇದೆ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ದು ಇವಾಗ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಸರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವರು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದೊಂದಿದೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಒಂದು ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ನಾಳೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಲ್ಮಾ ನಾಳೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದೀರಾ ಸಲ್ಮಾ ಐದು ಕಾಲ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹಾ ನೋಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫೈವ್ ತರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಲ್ವಾ ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡೋಣ ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ನೀವು ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಇದೆಯಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಮಕ್ಳದು ಅವತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದೊಂದು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ಟಫ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೂ ಸಿಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅದೇ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ನಾಳೆ ಸಂಜೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಇವಾಗ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೇ ಇಂದ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ವೆನ್ಸ್ಡೇ ಥರ್ಸ್ಡೇ ಫ್ರೈಡೇ ಮೂರು ದಿನ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಎರಡೆರಡು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕೂರಿಸಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ನ ಒಂದು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಒಂದ್ ಐದೈದು ಜನ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಒಂದ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಲ್ ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಕೇಳೋದು ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಈಗ ನಾಳೆ ನಾಳಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಂಡೇ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೇ ಸಾರಿ ವೆನ್ಸ್ಡೇ ಥರ್ಸ್ಡೇ ಫ್ರೈಡೇ ಮೂರು ದಿವಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೇ ಒಂದಿನ ಏನಾದರೂ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಕೋರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂಗೆ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ
ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಾಡೋಣಪ್ಪ ಈ ತರ ಅಂತಂದೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಆರ್ ಪಿಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂಚೂರು ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತಂದೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಡಿಸ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸು ಸೈನ್ಸು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸು ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡೋಣ ಒಂದ್ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೂರು ಕವರ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಈಗೇನು ಮಕ್ಳ ಇದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ವೈಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದಾರೆ ಅವರು ನಾಳೆಗೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಡೌಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದವರು ಇವ್ರಲ್ವಾ ಸಲ್ಮಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಹಾ ಹಾ ಇಬ್ರು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸಲ್ಮಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಈಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಫಾಲೋ ಅಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೀನಿ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ನಾ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೀಗ ಏನ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದುವರೆಗೆ ಅದ್ರದೆಲ್ಲ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಒಂದ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ತಂದು ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸಿಗೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಈ ವಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಮಕ್ಳು ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಗೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟನೇ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಹಾಕೋದು ಈಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಕೋರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕೀಗ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ಗೆ ಅದೇ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ನೋಡಿ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗತ್ತಾ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಈಗ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದೇನೆ ಅದೇ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ಲೇ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರ್ ಈಗ